Hey guys, alright so for today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this raindrop shader and I actually created this scene recently with this little boy that encounters this room with a bunch of pigeons in it and I had this piece of glass over here and I wanted to create uh, the illusion of this wet glass with raindrops on it and I had some people actually asking me how I created this and you'll see how simple it is to create um, so I thought I'll just put a tutorial together for you guys just to demonstrate the entire process from start uh, to finish so at the end of this tutorial this is the result that we'll have so I hope you guys are ready and without further ado let's get started alright guys so I've created a very very simple scene over here what I've done is I've just used some basic primitives as you can see over here I created oops I created a uh, I created a cube and I just increased its scale over there and then these are basically planes and you can see over here I've got two uh, planes that have intersected each other and I'll show you why I've done that later on in the tutorial and how that can actually come in handy uh, so I'll just recommend you guys go ahead and create something similar it's really simple to do uh, you're just gonna create a like I said just a plane rotate that create two of them and then take a cube and just uh, increase its length and then uh, at the back I just uh, inserted a sphere uh, just to demonstrate uh, the texture from that glass all right so the most important thing is actually creating the shader so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this so yeah let's get started so we've already got the shader material over here but we're going to do this completely from scratch obviously <laughs> so I'll go to once you've got your scene set up I'll go to create actually I'm just going to drag I'll yeah I'll go to create and create a octane material and I'm going to drag that on both pieces of glass over here right so they'd be both starting from scratch and then I'm going to open up that material so uh, basically to achieve this raindrop material what you're going to need is a bump map so you just want to go on Google and just Google something like a raindrop bump map or raindrops on a black background and try and find something similar like this uh, we've got these nice raindrop streaks uh, that have been captured because this is going to give us that nice detail and texture on our window so that's all you need to do just go on Google type in raindrops uh, black background or raindrop pump map or something and find something that you find appealing so once you've got that um, we go in to go to first of all we want to change this material to a specular material so the specular material is basically used for creating materials such as glass or even water so it's very important that you change this to a specular material and then I'm going to go to my roughness and immediately I'm gonna put this on a very low value so I'll say 0 0.003 and I'll show you a little bit later on how adjusting that roughness is going to adjust the overall texture of our glass uh, but I want to put that on a low value and then I want to go to bump uh, texture cinema 40 octane image texture we'll click on this black cube to go into that and then we'll load that texture so I'm just gonna go and find that quickly uh, where is it now oh, now you guys are seeing all of my projects here anyway there we go I'm going to find that bump texture of that raindrop uh, that I found of Google and just load that into the bump section click on no and immediately over here we can already see uh, we're getting an indication of those raindrops on this glassy material so immediately I'm going to drag this onto our uh, our plane over here and I've got this quite small but I'm sure you guys can still see what's going on here I'll enlarge this a little bit uh, so we can just see it a little bit better uh, but now you can see that uh, immediately by adjusting that roughness value and applying the bump uh, we've already got our, our uh, raindrop shade over here but you can see that the orientation is incorrect unless that's something you're going for but I'm gonna change the orientation and I'm just gonna explain a few things over here to get something that looks a little bit more believable so for with, uh, with this particular window uh, you can see I clicked on this to go into the shader section and I'm going to UV transform and I'm actually going to first of all adjust the rotation so I'll put this on 90 
uh, because I want my raindrops to be falling down uh, our window. But you guys can play around with this. You can actually, maybe you've got the rain coming in at an angle, right? So there's rain coming in, uh, coming from the outside, and it's hitting our our glass at an angle. So that can also that can also uh, look pretty nice. Uh, but I'm actually going to leave mine on 90 for this tutorial. And then uh, another thing to keep in mind is uh, we want to adjust the scale, right? Because some of these raindrops look really large. So just adjusting the X scale over here is going to uh, just adjust the overall, like the width of these raindrops. So this is where you guys have to play around with these settings until you get something that you find uh, to be aesthetically pleasing uh, to your eye. All right, and then obviously we can adjust the tiling and get it to a particular height that we are comfortable with. Now the reason why I separated this into two different planes is because sometimes this rain uh, bump map uh, can get really repetitive. So in order to break up that repetitive texture uh, by basically overlapping these planes, I can go ahead and duplicate this. So I'll say Control C. Oh, by the way, we actually, um, we're not done with creating the shader. Uh, I'll come back to that, but yeah, like I was explaining, I separated this into two materials so that I can, I can break up the repetitiveness. So uh, actually, let's just complete our shader first. So you can see I adjusted the roughness, I applied a bump map, and then I'm going to adjust the opacity. So by adjusting the opacity over here, uh, that's going to obviously make whatever we see behind the glass a lot more clearer. So you'll see once we start adding lights in the scene, we'll actually be able to see this a little bit uh, better. So obviously just adjust that opacity if you want to see the object behind the glass clearer or if you want to see more of these raindrops, if you want the raindrops to be more prevalent. Okay, so as I was saying, this is separated into two parts. So I just come here, duplicate this material we just made and then I would drag, first of all, let's name this right and name this left. And then I would drag this onto the right, this onto the left. And then we can start breaking up some of the repetitiveness by going back into that right shader, going to bump. And then maybe we can adjust the scale over here. So just so it looks a little bit more different and then adjust the tiling so that it's in a different area. You know, just so not everything looks so repetitive. Uh, but like I said, we'll see this a little bit better once we start adding the lighting in the scene. Uh, but that's how I would break up the repetitive, uh, repetitive nature of this uh, raindrop material. All right, so we've basically created our material, guys. It was a specular, some roughness, the bump, and then the opacity for the visibility. So something that's really, really important uh, to actually uh, create a lot more, uh, to make this look a lot better, is the lighting. So you can see how we have already got an octane daylight in my scene. Uh, but if we remove that, you can see that this texture does not look that great. I mean, it still looks cool. We can still see the raindrops, but as soon as we start adding lighting into the scene, uh, some of the some of that bump texture and all of that's going to capture that lighting information and it's just going to make these raindrops look a lot more believable and it just a, looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing. So I'm going to show you some different lighting conditions. Um, I've got another octane daylight over here. This one's a lot darker. And then uh, I've basically just created some of these octane area lights. So I'll activate that one and this one. And you can see, okay, they're actually, they're visible in the reflections right now, not in the scene. Uh, but just adding lighting in a very specific location can also uh, change the overall look and feel uh, of this wet glass material. And it starts to look really nice when we start playing around with lighting. So that's really important, guys. Uh, the position of your lighting is going to determine... Uh, how this material actually looks because it, since it's a specular, it's going to react to lighting really nicely. So uh, maybe if I 
disable one light maybe you guys could even animate something like this have the light going across you can close that for now have this light going across the scene and you can just see over there it's just hide our sphere for now uh, but just you can see as it's moving across that glass it's just basically revealing all of that uh, all of the raindrop texture over there so maybe something like this could even be animated uh, if that's something that you guys are going for uh, but lighting is really important as well when you're creating the shader so keep that in mind guys and I'll show you another lighting setup that I have here so here's a light that's above um, that's just placed above above the uh, sphere over here and again oops uh, again uh, you guys can see that we've got um, just say another a different uh, look and feel to this glass material just by changing the lighting so keep that in mind guys it's really easy to set up so let's actually go back I'm just gonna drag this material on both pieces of glass again let's go back into here so now if we adjust this roughness slider you'll see that we get all different kinds of effects now uh, now the glass is like a lot more smoky and whatever's behind the glass is uh, not so visible so this can create a very uh, mysterious uh, type of material that you're trying to go for but I tend to leave that quite low and then I would just adjust uh, the opacity over here but you can see actually a little bit more of that roughness was starting to look quite nice so you guys can get all types of effects just by playing around with the roughness and the opacity with this raindrop uh, material now uh, you, if you are going for something maybe a little bit more realistic you could create a displacement map uh, from the the bump map so if you have a program called crazy bump it automatically creates height maps for you so uh, those height maps are basically going to give some kind of depth or geometry to these raindrops uh, but I don't really like it because it starts to add a whole lot of unnecessary detail on the glass but yeah guys it's that's how simple it is to set up and create this raindrop shader and then just keep uh, the overall position of the lighting in mind uh, when you're doing this uh, but it really is that simple guys so now you can go ahead and maybe if you're doing arch first you've got some windows and you want to create the illusion of raindrops and uh, now you can go ahead and do that and then you know how to break up the uh, repetitiveness of the texture and yeah guys I hope you've learned something useful from this it's really easy to create um, and as always thank you for watching and stay tuned for some more tutorials alright goodbye